Hey guys, welcome back to Glam Finds, and I'm here with another fragrance review on one that's been reviewed already a bunch of times, but it was on sale at fragrancebuy.ca, and I told myself I was gonna get this when the price dropped to what I've been picking up the other ones at, so I did. It's going to be from the House of Armoff, Club de Nuit Siage. Now, I already have a couple of fragrances in this vein, uh, particularly Armoff Derby Clubhouse Blanche. Um, I also have, uh, let's see, Zerjoff Mephisto. And I wanna talk about kind of like the differences. So first of all, let's talk about what you really smell in this, or I should say what I really smell in this. This is kind of like a nice, fresh, citrusy, metallic rose with a little bit of inkiness. So in the open, there's a nice amount of citrus. It's really pleasant. You get that bergamot, lemon, and lime, and it's really, really nice. You can definitely pick up on that violet leaf. It's really pleasant, it's really refreshing. The rose and the musk are definitely there. And then you get a little bit of inkiness. Um, it's got kind of a metallic thing going, some muskiness. It's got a lot going on, but it it's just really pleasant. It doesn't have that inkiness that like, Derby Clubhouse Blanche has. I feel like that's inkier, um, but it has a really nice metallic note. And I actually enjoy that a lot because when I say metallic note, I'm not talking about like the metallic note you'd find in Sauvage. That one for me induces a pretty solid headache. No, this is really nice, uh, especially when it's in the air. You guys already know our moth fragrances. If you smell them directly off of your skin, they can be a little off-putting. However, in the air, Typically, especially from the Club de Nuit line, I actually, I think they're their best fragrances. They are really pleasant. And this one is no different. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and say this one is my favorite of the Club de Nuit line. Not only because the presentation is killer. Um, I mean, look at this bottle. That's pretty sick. But this smells so good. I really like that DNA. Um, I guess it's obviously, they're all clones of Silver Mountain Water, right? But... That DNA is really pleasant to me. It's really nice, kind of addicting, and people around me seem to like it. Uh, so if you like that DNA, this is probably gonna be the fragrance for you. Performance-wise, I am an oversprayer. I put 20 sprays of this on. You guys already know, I usually spray between 45 minutes to an hour before I get anywhere. 20 sprays lasted me over 10 hours projection, over three hours of pretty far projection, I would say over four feet. And then the sillage, which is ironic because it's called sillage, lasted pretty much all day. I had an amazing scent trail going. So the performance on this is in line with the Club Dinner Weed line. It tends to be pretty strong performers. If you spray on clothes, you have to wash it out because my laundry hamper right now smells like this, which is pretty nice. I'm not gonna complain about that. But it's a really nice scent, and in terms of who can wear this, I think anybody can wear this. It's very unisex. Um, if you are a man and you don't really prefer scents with rose, I personally feel like I can smell the rose in here. So you may not enjoy it very much. Uh, again, I know a lot of guys don't like wearing stuff that's unisex, if you're one of those guys, don't get this. In terms of age, I don't think that any age is not gonna like this. I think this will probably appeal to a very wide audience. Um, again, it's a really people-pleasing fragrance. I know sometimes that inkiness can be a little bit off-putting, but I don't find it to be off-putting in this. I think there's like kind of a perfect amount of inkiness to make it addicting, but not confuse people as to what they're smelling. Uh, again, they're probably not gonna know what they're smelling anyways normal people just say you smell good versus oh i smell hints of bergamot i smell hints of iris i smell hints of rope no they don't no they don't care I, I really don't even care like i like smelling certain notes however i just like smelling good in general where can you wear this white t-shirt scent all day this is a daytime fragrance to me however i think this is pretty nice you could totally wear this at night and if you wanted to go real different you could even wear this to the club because it's pretty loud. I mean, it's not necessarily what I would call a typical club scent. In my personal opinion, this is casual daytime wear, although you could dress it up and you could even make this a signature scent for work if you don't go too heavy on it because it's really, really pleasant. 
I find this to be very versatile and although in terms of seasons I would probably keep it to spring and summer because um, I think it would really shine you could wear it year round it honestly performs really well I think it could actually cut through the cold very well if you wanted to compare it with Rasasi's All We Sam Day I still feel like that one's more ambery and I actually really enjoy wearing that one at night because I feel like I can really smell the amber in that. So if you wanted to just go with this DNA all day, I would probably do sillage during the day and always some day at night even though day is in the name. You don't have to listen to that, it doesn't matter. Um, both of them are really good, both of them are very high quality and to be honest I don't think you could go wrong with either one of them. Amazing DNA. This one... I think has more citruses in it so if you're like into the fresh citruses this could be the one for you. I actually think this one is probably more affordable right now uh, in terms of price. You can get this one at fragrancebot.ca for $35. If I find it anywhere else for around the same price I will go ahead and link that down below as well. Again this scent DNA, let's go into compliments, is a compliment getter when I wore it every time I wore it it pulled compliments. I think the performance on top of it just being nice and fresh and clean and musky, musk, musk always gets me compliments. Almost 100% of the time, anything containing musk gets me compliments. People love it. They don't know why they love it, but it's a really pleasant scent. This has a lot of notes that are just compliment getting notes. Uh, there's even ambroxan in here. People love Ambroxan. I don't really smell that specifically just because I feel like the notes in here are blended very well. I think our moth did a really good job with this one. If you've tried this, let us know down below what you think. Compliments, where you wear it, performance, everything. Obviously, it's nice to know how this works on different people. It obviously did really well for me. Uh, this is one of the ones that I just, I just really like it. Um, I, again, I really like Milestone, but this is this is my favorite from the line now. Uh, although Milestone is also a beast and it smells amazing. This one is not as off-putting if you smell it on skin, but again, the Armoff Club and Nui line, way better in the air than on skin. As always, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell to get notified when I drop new videos. Hit that like button if you like this video and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!